Alright, uh, pause this video and try the problem on your own. Okay, so let's look at this problem. They tell us a rectangular garden, a rectangular garden measuring 12 meters by 16 meters. So I'm going to look at that right away because I've got a lot going on in this diagram. I just want to make sure I'm keeping track of it. So I'll use green for the garden. Right, so they're saying this is our garden right here. And it's 12 by 16. Uh, is to have a walkway installed around it. So this white space around it is the walkway. We use brown for that. And this is the border of the walkway. Right. With a width of x meters. Oh, so here's the width. x by x by x by x. So all around is the same. It's x meters wide. As shown diagram below. Together, the walkway and the garden have an area of 396 square meters. Write an equation that can be used to find x, the width of the walkway. Oh, cool. Okay, so here the area is 396. So how do we find area in general? Well, we multiply the dimensions, let's say the height by the width or something like that. So we have to find out what the height and the width are so that when we multiply them, we get an area of 396. That seems overwhelming, but they do give us enough information here to solve it. Look at this, right? The Let's say the, the width, uh, let's call the width this direction. Okay, so this width right here, I shouldn't use green, sorry, I'll use pink. So this width right here, anywhere I draw, is, it's the width of the rectangle, right? If I draw on the bottom or whatever, as long as it goes from one end to the other. This width, how wide is that? Well, it is 16 here, All right? This part right here is 16 wide in the diagram, plus this x and plus this x. So it's 2x plus 16. And then the height is just x plus x, 2x again, plus 12, this middle piece right here. So that's the equation we're going to use. All right, keep going. Describe how your equation models the situation. So there you could write how um, that 2x plus 16 uh, represents the width, while 2x plus 12 represents your height. Um, and describe that you use the, the, the height of the garden 12 plus 2x, 1x below it, 1x above it, to make 2x plus 12. And likewise here, you use the width of the garden, 16, plus an x on each side to make an expression for the width. Determine the state of the width, determine and state the width of the walkway in meters. Okay, so basically they want us to solve for x and then use that value to find out what how wide this thing actually is. So let's do that. We have 2x plus 16 times 2x plus 12 equals 396. Okay, so here we're going to simplify a little bit. 2x times 2x is 4x squared. That's right here. 2x times 12, what's that? Well, that's 24x. 16 times 2x, that's 32x. And 16 times 12, well, 16 times 10 is 160, plus another 32 is 192. And I'm going to check because it's, I always slip up with my arithmetic. Yes, 192. And that equals 396. So we have 4x squared plus 56x. I combine 24 and 32. Plus 192 equals 396. So to, to solve this thing, what I want to do is get one side equal to 0. So at this point, I'm going to take 396 from both sides. I do that because I want to get um, 0 on one side and use that 0 product property. This is minus 204 plus 56x, and then we have 4x squared. Now from here, you could solve for x using the quadratic formula or completing the square. Uh, however, I think it will be much easier to work with if we divide everything by 4. Right, divide by this value a because 4 goes into every number you have here. Let's see what happens if we do that. We get x squared plus 14x minus 51 equals 0. Now this is a much easier problem to work with because the scale of the numbers is much smaller. So 51 is not prime. Uh, 3 and 17 go into 51, which is really nice. Now if you didn't recognize that, you could still complete the square or use the quadratic formula to solve this. But we need a positive and negative number to multiply a negative 51. 17 will be positive and 3 will be negative because that will add positive 14 and multiply a negative 51. 
If this equals 0, the two values of x that equal 0, let's find them. x plus 17 could equal 0, so x would be negative 17. And then x minus 3 could equal 0, and in that case, x would equal 3. So out of these two choices, we're going to reject um, negative 17. We're not going to set the negative measurement for something, only set the positive measurement. But 3 is not our answer. We're looking for the width of the, the I think, oh, it is the answer, sorry. We're looking for the width of the walkway. Right, so that means that x is 3, right here. And let's just check it, because I want to make sure this works. Um, in other words, I want to plug in the number 3 and see if we get the correct area of the entire thing, which is, let's see what it says. Together, the walkway and the garden have an area of 396 square meters. Let's just test that out. So we have 3 and 16 and 3, that's 22. And then we have 3 and 12 and 3, that's 18. So when we multiply 18 by 22, we do need to get 396. 18 by 22. And yes, it works. Okay, cool. So x is 3. All right, I hope that helped.